Hi, welcome back to another session of Paint This with Jerry Yarnell right here at the Yarnell School of Fine Art. And I am so happy that you could join me for this session. And as promised, we're going to start a brand new painting. But not only are we going to start a brand new painting, but we are going to use a different medium today. Now, we've been receiving so much information, or cards and letters and phone calls from all around the world about oil painting techniques over the last few years. And yes, I've done a few shows and instructional things on that but I've never done a really comprehensive breakdown of how you use uh, oils, especially what I'm going to talk about today. And so I hope for those of you that have been watching, this answers a lot of those questions and the mystery of how to use this particular type of oil will finally be solved. So let's get to it because we've got a lot of work to do. We're going to have a lot of fun with this painting. It's going to be called Two of a Kind. I'll explain it to you in a minute. But we're going to be working, folks, with what's called the water miscible oils. The reason I want to bring this up is because the water miscible oils have only been out for, oh, maybe 25 years. Uh, I remember when I first started working with them, they were just relatively new. Uh, everybody was a little leery of them. Anything that comes new into the art world is very, very, uh, you might say, uh, put, the artist pushed back because it has to be tried and tested. It has to become, quote, sort of an archival collection, which means museum quality. And I'm not so sure the water miscible oils ever got that uh, rating until just recently because now people are finding out that they're not any different than regular oils. And that's what I want to share with you guys is that a lot of times people ask, well, what's the difference between a water miscible oil and a traditional oil? There is none. The difference is uh, that they have just scientifically somehow through a chemical breakdown of the linseed oil altered it so that you can use water with it if you choose to, rather than linseed oil or traditional mediums. So let me explain how this works, because when you see, hear the word water, we almost instantly associate that with our acrylic paintings or watercolors that dry instantly. Water miscible oils, folks, now this is important. Do not dry any faster than regular traditional oils. They have the same color schemes, they have the same pigmentation, it's only the linseed oil that has been somehow chemically modified. And don't ask me how. I know nothing about it other than that's what they told me, that it was the linseed oil. And what you can do now, instead of using turpentine uh, or even linseed oil if you don't want to, you can use water to thin your paints, use water to clean your brushes, use soap and water to finish up with. Uh, but I don't do that. Let me explain this to you. With water missile balls, you can go either way either traditional tech, uh, mediums or the or you can use water. The reason I don't like to put water in mine is because when you mix water in your water mist of oils, even though you can get them creamy for a short time, once the water evaporates, they stiffen up again. So what I always use is the linseed oil that comes with the water miscible oils. You can purchase the water miscible oils, and you can also purchase the water miscible linseed oil, the water miscible drying solutions, and other mediums that different companies make. So pick the appropriate one to fit your need. If you need a paint to dry quickly, you can buy some dryers, but be sure they say water miscible. Now, what I do in my work is I use traditional techniques, but I don't use water to thin. I just pour about let me just show you down here. Here's my basic palette laid out. As you can see, I'm using a regular grade, uh, this is just a, a disposable palette, but I like it because I can just pull it off and start again. I take, this is just linseed oil, the water miscible linseed oil. I just take a few drops and put in each of my colors all the way around the palette. And then I just slightly mix them and they get real creamy and buttery like, like uh, whatever consistency you want. Now they're ready to work with, just like regular oils. Another thing is, they don't dry any faster or necessarily any slower than regular oils. So don't, I just want to settle the misnomer and the frustration, confusion, or mystery of, they're just like regular oils, folks. It just, they've done something chemically that makes it work differently. So you can use water if you want to. Just a lot of people panic when they use water and they say, well, they're too stiff. Well, then just quit using the water. Only use the water to do this. All right, let's say, for example, you're down here and you're working with some color. I'm just going to make a quick little scenario here. Now, in traditional oil, if you have white on your brush and some mixing some colors, 
and you need to change color. You've got to go to the turpentine. You've got to go to some solvents. You've got to clean it out and get started again. That's what you do. And you've got the odors. You've got the chemical mess. You've got the smells, of course, that just sometimes are dangerous. Uh, so what I do now, instead of using turpentine, I just wipe the excess paint out. I go to my water container over here. I rinse it out, see the color, how it's coming out. Just like with acrylic or watercolor, go across there, work it out, wipe that out, voila, your brush is clean again. It's ready to go. So you don't have, the, the beauty of these paints is that you don't have to use the uh, more dangerous things to clean and to thin and so forth. All I use, I'm a purist folk when it, folks when it comes to painting, I just use nothing but linseed oil. Unless I'm in a hurry, I want the quick dry then to help to speed up the drying and overnight it can dry enough to do other layering uh, things. Okay.